Hi, I'm Rasika Dukil. And I'm Mukul Chadda. And you're, you're watching, watching us on, on Filmy Beat. Beat. First of all, I want to say that the heart will try to make it today. It will be today. I think... You have to kill me very much. You have to kill me very much. No, we are all actors. He is doing it like this. I have never felt the pressure of the box office. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made the choices that I have made in my career. Um, I feel as an actor, my nervousness is reserved for the time that I am shooting or preparing. I remember this question. I got a lot when I was in the office. Ka yeah. And a lot hmm. of people said, how did you have the guts to do something, getting into Steve Carell's shoes? And honestly, I didn't even think about it. It's been about 3-3 years, waiting for me. My hair is also black. Now tell me when I'm coming to season 3. When I'm talking about it, I'm like, no, this year will be clear. This year will be clear. But this year will be clear. Okay, okay. I also know this. Amazon has also said it. Hi guys, welcome to Filmy Bate with Filmy Beat. This is Murtaza Iqbal. And today with me, there are two actors who have talent here. They have given some wonderful performances in the past. And I think for their coming film, I am very excited. And I am talking about none other than Rasika and Mukul who are here with us today. And they are going to be seen in a movie called Fairy Folk. Hi guys, welcome to Filmy Beat. Thank you so much. First of all, I want to say that they will try to make a heart tomorrow. It will be today. You have to kill me very much. I have to kill you very much. No, we are all actors, they are just like this. How much time do you have? It's a lot of time. But it's really lovely, funny, real on the Valentine's Day. Thank you, thank you. I have to talk about Fairy Folk. I want to say that I saw a trailer, I tried to understand what's going on. Someone is just eating food, you're talking about it. I want to understand what exactly the basic concept of this movie is. Uh, well, it's about a couple who lives in Bombay and uh, like any other, they are so busy in their lives that they sometimes forget to pay attention to uh, their own relationship. And uh, one day a very uh, 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 fantastical being in a woodland uh, creature comes out and they are forced to then examine their own relationship. That's the basic storyline, I would say. But it is a lot about love, relationships, marriage, control, gender identities. Um, and ये इन सब बातों के बारे में बहुत interestingly बात करती है ये फिल्म जैसे आपको कहीं भी नहीं लगेगा कि ये कोई बहुत serious फिल्म देख रहे हैं आप dialogues बहुत मजेदार है बहुत comedy है humour है और क्योंकि ये improvised थी एक dialogues में एक मजा है और एक banter है so I think that the audiences will uh, will relate to that. So what you saw was a one piece of Just banter. Just lives, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know, but this film, uh, like she alluded to, is an improvised film. So while Karan had written out, you know, the structure of the screenplay, there were, you know, 80 odd scenes. Yeah. But uh, he didn't, on purpose, he didn't write out the dialogues in any scene. In, in, in any scene, it was only about a three, four line description of roughly what happens in the scene. Uh, and he left it entirely over to the actors as to how they want to approach it, uh, you know, what dialogues they would say to make it more natural. Yeah. How they moved in the space. We had so much freedom to move in the space, you know, uh, as we wanted. And we would have long takes. I mean, you know, least, shortest take must have been seven, eight minutes. Longest take might have been 25 minutes. And, uh, you know, then it's up to him to edit it and bring it down. So it was a very, it's very unusual, not only in storytelling, like she's talking about, you have this <coughs> mystical creature yeah. that comes into a very real world and how it affects their lives. Uh, but also in this style of filmmaking, that it's it's improvised in this way. Like, yeah, and I have to say that Karan allowed us a lot of freedom. You know, when many directors start off, they say that they will improvise film. But they will say that 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 they will कहीं मोटा मोटा हमने डिसाइड किया था कि फ्रेम का दायरा इतना होगा लेकिन not really where I'm going to move in the frame or what props we're going to use so the sound people and the camera people had to work triply hard to get this done and they never disturbed us act so we actually had the easiest job on this film but you know कहीं ना कहीं as actors difficult हो जाता है कि ऐसी मूवी है लाइक समटाइम्स ऑफ़ कोर्स आप लोगों को मुस्लिम ऐसे रहता है कि भाई स्क्रिप्ट है ये डायलॉग्स है ऐसे ऐसे सब कुछ होगा बट जब कोई ऐसी मूवी होती है जहाँ पे आपको अभी आजा कि यू नो गो इम्प्रोवाइज आप लोग करो तो कहीं ना कहीं एक्टर्स डिफिकल्ट भी हो जाता है बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ कोर्स डायरेक्शन का एक विज
that uh, current cast has also in the film. Uh, we have done improv, we've been part of a group called Improv Comedy Mumbai, 2009 we've been doing improv. There are some other people from that troupe who have done yeah. improv who are in the film. Achha. Who he's cast in and brought in. And um, there's another, uh, Alek, who's a producer and an actor in the film. He did improv with us for some time, you know, to get into it. So I think with, uh, there's a little bit of, you know, getting into the idea mm -hmm. of, and understanding how this process works. It's not easy to make this process work. Uh, it's not like everybody does it successfully. Hmm. Uh, but at one level, I have to say, Karan trusted it entirely. You know, not like someone saying, Ki, Chalo, let's start with improv and then you get scared and Chalo, yeah. thoda, we'll try and semi-script it. Then it's the worst of both worlds. Yeah, he followed through entirely you know? on his promise of an improvised film. And, uh, and that, that really, and yeah, I, I am not, I, 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 there was, I was a bit daunted to begin with. I was like, even though I had done improv, well, how will we really, how will this work? Yeah. Uh, but we did a lot of rehearsing beforehand, before we started shooting, we rehearsed what we call pre-scenes. Like for example, we shot every scene in the film in the order in which you'll see it. Because you right. know, like in normal scripted stuff, you may do scene 12, yeah. scene 48, then, because you know exactly what's happening in every scene. Here you don't know what is happening, so you can't start a scene because you don't know what's happened in the preceding scene. You have to have shot it first. So we shot in that linear order and I think as part of rehearsal, to get comfortable, not just for us, but for the crew, for the camera people, for the sound, for, uh, you know, we shot pre-scenes. Right. So we started with like C minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, what would have happened? Yeah. Helped us get comfortable with it and, and then we, you know, so by the time we hit the ground with scene 1, we were already in a flow. And unlike what people think, improvisation is not that you can do anything. It's like playing a sport. I mean, every game is different, uh, therefore every take is different in this uh, film. But you have to know the rules of the game and you have to learn as a team to play it together, okay. you know. So, uh, I think because we had people who, uh, we had all done improv together at some point, that we could uh, uh, pull this off. Otherwise, it would have been difficult. Right. You know, of course, I would like to know that somewhere or the other hand, when a movie like this, which has gone into film festivals and everything, people say, put it on OTT. Of course, you guys are coming in cinemas and with you guys being the face of the film, there is a lot of box office pressure feel hota hai. I have never felt box office pressure, feel nahi hua. otherwise I wouldn't have made the choices that I have made in my career. Um, I feel as an actor, my nervousness is reserved for the time that I am shooting or preparing. When I am shooting, I think I did what I was doing. nothing is in my control. How is edit, how is the sound, how is the marketing, how is the release, and how is it received. It is so out of my control that I can't worry about it or be nervous about it. But yes, I always hope that it uh, the best thing happens to that piece of work because there's so much love that has gone into it and there's always a lot of attachment as an actor. Um, uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't uh, worry about it at all. I just hope that something good will happen. Right. What about you, Mukul? No, same. I think I'm just so happy. It's been so long and uh, because the lockdown came in the middle yes. and then it took him, and this kind of film, current, you know, it took him a while to edit it. Uh, and it's been traveling to festivals and every time it has, people have been saying, uh, you know, people have seen trailers and teasers yeah. earlier and been asking, Ki hum kab dek sakte hai? and then, you know, you've seen positive feedback from the festivals. So a lot of people, lot of people have been asking, Ki hum kab dek and I'm just happy that now there's a medium through which they can see it. So I'm very excited to have people watch it. And I hope, like she said, that as many people watch it, when you do some work, you just want it to reach as wide an audience as possible. And I also feel like there are some films that I feel are can be private experiences and that's good. Yeah. But there are some which lend themselves well to a community viewing and I feel, I'm very happy that this film is releasing theatrically. Because I think that it's going to be more fun when you're watching with other people. Because dialogue is so fresh and, and spunky and uh, uh, it's got its own sense of humor. <laughs> right. You know, of course, you're talking about Prani creature. You don't know what it is, alien, yeah. hai, robot, hai, kya hai, because we just recently saw this movie called Teri Baato Mein Saadaja, which was right. about a robot being there and the movie really received very mixed reactions. Ko laga, kya, how can this be possible and all those things. So, of course, as I said, I don't know what exactly this creature right. is, but when you have a movie, aare, do you feel thoda wo, because you know, when it comes to reviews and critics, you are both favorite. Rahe ho. <laughs> I don't think so, I've ever read a negative review about you guys or any project that you guys have done. So, that's why I think that a kind of experimentation bhi kuch kar rahe hum log to kaise log like critics ho ya log ko kaise accept karenge usko i don't know you know it's actually very clear it's i wouldn't like you asked is it a robot is it yeah. alien there isn't an explanation for it because it's not meant to be from the real world in that sense. Okay. it's meant to be and they say magical realism may you have a fantastical creature that has its own rules 
and that's described. This, this is separate thing. It's, it's you. You can't put it in a hole. Ki yes, yeah. If Saturn se alien aaya hai, ya ye robot hai, ya isko ko, isko ko scientific explanation. Uski zorob bhi nahi hai. It's just this is this is the real world is functioning in its regular rules. There's one rule that changes for one creature, and okay. Now it's also a good medium when you use that. It's actually a story about this couple and the story about the real world. Yeah. But you're using that as a mechanism to tell the story, and I think sometimes that's a clever device. And Karan's done it very effectively. And I'm actually very curious that the audience will take this creature in this prani. Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which bracket? Will they try to put it in which क्रिटिक्स एंड ऑडियंस स्पेशली जो आपको हमने ओ टी पे मूवीज वगैरह और वेब सीरीज में देखा है एक एक्सपेक्टेशन हो जाता है आप लोग से कि ये लोग होंगे तो भाई प्रोजेक्ट अच्छा ही निकलेगा तो वो जब आप कहीं नया प्रोजेक्ट साइन करने जाते हैं तो कहीं वो वाला प्रेशर फील होता है कि यार अब ऑडियंस सोच रही होगी कि ये मैं कर रहा हूँ या मैं कर रही हूँ तो अच्छा ही निकलेगा मतलब कहीं बैक ऑफ द माइंड में शायद रहे ये बात लेकिन जब आप किसी प्रोजेक्ट पे साइन करने जा रहे हो इतनी सारी दूसरी चीज़ें होती है कि अगर मुझे कुछ अच्छा लगा तो मैं इतनी एक्साइटेड हो जाती हूँ उसके बारे में या फ्रॉम अ परफॉर्मेंस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अगर कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग लगा कि बाकी सब कुछ बहुत ही बैकग्राउंड में चला जाता है सो दैट्स नेवर वन ऑफ माई क्राइटीरिया फॉर सिलेक्टिंग समथिंग इज देर अ स्लाइट नर्वस अबाउट नर्वसनेस अबाउट इट समाइम्स बट नॉट रियली इन अ वे दैट इट बॉर्डर्स मी और अफेक्ट्स माई डिसीजन मेकिंग एट ऑल क्योंकि देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स टू डिसाइड वेल टेकिंग ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट यू नो हु इज डिरेक्टिंग इट वो योर को एक्टर्स एंड यू रियली वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद अ टीम हु इज विच इज अ स्पेशल कोलेबोरेशन सो एंड अगर कोई प्रोजेक्ट करना हो और इंटरेस्टिंग परफॉर्मेंस है दैन तो मैं सब कुछ भूल जाती हूँ एंड आई आई एंड ऑफ सेंग येस वेरी क्विकली What about you? Do you feel I that? No, I similar. I think that ये सब. In fact, uh, I remember this question. I got a lot जब मैंने office का role किया. Yeah. And a lot mm. of people said, how did you have the guts to do something getting into Steve Carell's shoes? And honestly, मैंने उसके बारे में सोचा भी नहीं. To me, it was just such a great character to play and such a great opportunity that ये तो मैंने सोचा भी नहीं कि you know what are these shoes to fill? What are these examples? True. What are this? It's uh, it's just about it's a great character and if you get an opportunity, आप ना कैसे बोल सकते हो? करेक्ट यू नो ऑफ कोर्स बिफोर आई रैप अप आई नो मैं ज्यादा ये नहीं पूछूंगा बीना को कैसे बनाया मैंने देखा बहुत इंटरव्यू पे वही चल रहा था मैं सिर्फ इतना जानना चाहता हूँ साढ़े तीन साल हो गए वेट करते करते मेरे बाल भी सफेद होने आए अब तो बता दो कब आ रहा है मिर्जापुर सीजन थ्री बहुत जल्द आ रहा है बेस्ट फॉर दिल्ली